Yo, hopefully you can hear me. I have no idea which microphone is getting picked up right now. Uh, let me unmute myself and see if I can get a good echo for all of you guys. Cool. Let's see what the delay looks like so I get a good idea what we're working with here. Oh, there is quite the delay. Okay, good to know. So here's, here's what I was thinking about today. And I, I don't have this prepared, but I was driving. And these are the thoughts I had. And it's, if you just think about like Charlie Munger and his multidisciplinary approach, like what can we learn from other fields that can help us in ours? And one of the things, because I'm a, I'm a practical person, a pragmatic person, I always think of very, very simple physics. Most things can be explained uh, pretty simply with physics. So the things, the two things I want to talk about are a funnel, the concept of a funnel, which makes a whole lot of sense if we don't realize the things we take for granted. Okay. And I'll explain what I mean by that in a minute. Uh, but the, the concept of a funnel, right? Us humans, we have a, we have this, uh, tendency to take things for granted. We don't see it. We don't recognize it. We only miss it when it's gone. And what I want you to think about something that you don't think about often, but affects our life is gravity, right? So the concept of a funnel makes a whole lot of sense because we put water in here and it goes where we want it down here, right? But do you know why that happens? It doesn't happen because of the funnel. It happens because of physics. Gravity is pulling that water down and we are funneling it to where we want it to go. So we think of, oh, we put all these strangers in the top of this funnel and then we funnel them down to be customers and we are, we are taking for granted gravity. It does not exist in our marketing. So what if the funnel excuse my poor drawing, I was not prepared for this, looks like this, okay? If we put a whole bunch of water right here, it's gonna go right here. It is not, it is not gonna travel this path we want it to unless there is a vacuum of some sort or a gravitational pull this way. Right. So this is what we are missing in our marketing. It makes a whole this looks really cool. This this right here makes a whole lot of sense if we completely discount the fact that gravity is actually doing the work. The funnel is just funneling. Right. So understand that. That's the first we talked about a funnel, what it looks like, what it does. And we take for granted the gravitational pull. So in our minds, you put something on top of a funnel, it comes out the bottom. But there is no gravity in our marketing. We are not literally putting prospects above a funnel and dropping them down. If that were the case, gravity would help us, right? So we have to create a gravitational pull or a vacuum that goes this way, right? And here, the other thing I want to talk about is the no like trust and people abuse it and they don't understand that it is not, it is not no like trust, right? No like trust. That is how we use it. That is not how it is effective. That is actually three completely separate sections of this funnel. And we're going to draw it this way. So we understand that gravity is not inherently helping us. There is not a natural pull. So we have to create it. And this is how I split up my personal interactions. You want these people to know you. It is a completely separate compartment. It takes time and energy, and they're going to spend time here. And a select few of them 
are going to, through your interactions with them, they're going to like you through interaction, engagement, insight. And as you give them, this right here is huge. As you give them insight, they are going to trust you. And that is how you pull them from one end of the funnel to the other, because this model right here, this, uh, the way we look at a funnel now doesn't make sense because we're discounting gravity, right? So let's not take that for granted. And yes, this funnel works with physical matter because, uh, because of gravity. So here we have no like trust. Now we just want to split our quote unquote funnel into no. Let them get to know you and your personality like, I call them MKP, right? So MKP, my kind of people, they will identify themselves. Uh, they will find out that you are their kind of people and they'll kind of hang out in your ecosystem if they like you. And then the last part of that poll is trust. But though this is, this is not no like trust. You're not going to write one ad or one webinar that makes them know you, like you, trust you. This could be days. This could be months. This could be years. But this gravitational pull, right, this vacuum or this pull that you're creating is how you get the high conversion rates because you are taking everybody coming in right here and instead of letting them just wander through, you are pulling them through aggressively um, in a stealth manner. They don't know you're pulling them through aggressively, right? Because you're actively getting to know you, like you, and trust you. And then um, i trying to think your insight. But maybe they buy, maybe they don't. But the people that trust you, they're either going to buy or refer. Okay, so there's three separate stages. And each stage actually is built in to the front end and the back end of uh, the business if, if it's done right. So those are the, the two things that I just see over and over. Is like you got to have a funnel. But what the fuck good does a funnel do without gravity? Honestly, you put whatever you want right here, right? And it's not going to go the direction you want it to go. Gravity's going to pull it straight down. So you have to have a pull in direction you want it to go. And you cannot get by with this no like trust rhetoric. You don't want people to know like trust you. You want people to know you. And then you want a few of those people that are in line with your values to like you. And then even fewer of those people will trust you. And this is where your sales and your high conversions come from. And then they buy and refer and your ROI goes up significantly. So think about those things. Stop thinking of a funnel as something that people will inherently go through because what most of you have is a series of pages that you expect people to just click through, right? That's not a funnel. That's just a series of things. So you have to make sure that you are including this. Let's see if I get a different color here. I'm tired of orange. Know you in this phase, like you in this phase, trust you in this phase, so that there is that vacuum or that pull that makes a funnel effective in the first place. So hopefully that's helpful. That's what I was thinking about in the car today. I did not plan this. Uh, if it doesn't make any sense, I apologize. But I think that's something that's missing is that when you take things for granted and then you look at some rhetoric or, or a picture of a funnel, you say that makes a whole lot of sense. Not recognizing that there are things like gravity that make it effective. And if you don't have the gravity in your marketing, which you can't see in that picture of the funnel, so it goes unnoticed. Um, it's just not a very effective funnel. It is just a shape. And if it's not pulling people through, then what is the fucking point? So there's that. Kept it under 10 minutes. Some really ugly drawings. Sorry about that. And uh, hopefully it's useful. Hopefully that's insight. That's the uh, insight part of the, the gravitational pull.